Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sadie and those of you who don't know me, I'm a Twitch streamer and you know, on the DL, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. Um, but I am so happy to be here to start a new series for you. Um, I was shopping around on Curse Forge on the Minecraft mod packs and I found this mod pack called Cozy Craft. It's been formulated by Prince Yukio and I'll have the link um, in the description for the mod pack. Like I said, I play on Curse Forge. I know that, that there are other mediums to get mod packs on, but that's where the link will be for my version of playing. Um, I love filming long form content on YouTube. And when I saw this mod pack, I was like, this is going to be a really good time. So I downloaded it. I tested it. And... I'm really excited to play and film for you guys. I don't know how long this series is going to be, but there are a lot of things that we can explore in this. And I feel like it's going to be a really cozy adventure. Grab a cozy, fluffy blanket, get a nice warm drink, or if you like iced coffee, I get it. I get it. And get cozy because we are going to go on to an adventure through different dimensions, different biomes, um, experience different mobs. And it's going to be a total blast. Um, I'm going to go through the mods really quick. So we know what to expect. We'll go through A to Z. Alex's mobs. Um, lots of ambient sounds. So prepare yourself for that. This is going to be a very cinematic experience, I think. Biomes of Plenty, one of my favorites. Um, a citadel. Um, comforts, connected glass, cooking for blockheads, croptopia is a good time. Though I grew up on Pam's Harvest Craft, so my heart does live there, unfortunately. Unfortunately for croptopia, but fortunately for Miss Pam, of course. Um, <laughs> farming for blockheads, goblin traders, gravestone mod, journey map, of course, just enough items, obviously, magical jewelry, moonlight library. Some of these I've never heard of or played with. Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, a necessity. Um, Nature's Compass, Serene Seasons, Voice Chat. I don't, won't be optimizing that though, or utilizing that. Um, the Aether, the Twilight Forest, Towns and Towers, um, Useful Backpacks, Vampire. Oh shit, I didn't know we had vampires. Oh fuck, I didn't know we had vampires. Edward Cullen? Damien, Stefan, where they at? Waystones, all these young mods as well. Um, so yeah, we are gonna start a new single player world together! I'm so excited, the giddiness that I get of starting a new world. All right, create a new world. Oh my God. What should we call her? What should we call her? Let's call her, I love Minecraft. I love Minecraft, exclamation point. We're gonna do survival, normal difficulty, no cheats. Um, should I allow cheats? Just I, I mean, I don't know what we're gonna come across. No, we're not allowing cheats. Create a new world. Let's get into it. We're here. <laughs> Welcome to Cozy Craft, everybody. Take it in. As you can hear, we have a lot of ambience going on. Um, we looks like we spawned in the Mediterranean forest. And if you're wondering where I saw that, it's right underneath the map. It says the biome. Um, so that map is journey map. Hi, how are you, Mr. Toolsmith? Oh shit, we got an animal dictionary. Numerous strange creatures inhabit the over overworld, nether and end. This text is intended as a guide to help identify and chronicle these different species of animals. Oh, oh, look at the bear. Oh my god. The gr Can I fucking help? Bro, he's a nitwit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I actually didn't. Is he going to fight me? No, he's going to go cry about it because he's a freaking baby. All right. Well, I guess we can look into that at another time. Hello. Oh, he's unemployed. Get a job. Get a job. Anyway, let's go look around. Ooh. A flower pot? Okay, that's interesting. This is kind of cute. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not a big fan of the way like brick looks anymore in Minecraft. I used to love it. I used to love the way that brick looked. Um when I played on like Pocket Edition, you know. <laughs> I would build all my houses in brick and I'd make these big brick fireplaces, but now I just feel like it clashes with too much painting. That's interesting that they have like different things that spawn. You good home? Okay, you good. 
um, different things that spawn in the chest. More paintings, a bucket of tropical fish. Like, what's the lore on that, you know? What is the lore on that? All right. I honestly, you guys, have no idea. Whoa! This is so cool! It's like a real church! Okay, shit! Um, I honestly have no idea how <laughs> says he's unemployed how long um these videos are gonna be or the series um but i'm willing to really feel it out and really see you know how i feel and how you guys are enjoying it um but this mod pack seems like it has a lot to it and i'm definitely willing to you know look around experience it enjoy it oh this is cool Oh, I like how they have the crystal. That's like a really cute touch. That's like a really adorable detail. Oh, there's another room here. Oh my God. Well, we're getting food. We're getting food. Okay. So what's interesting I want to know is that when I tested this earlier, um, I also spawned in a village like this. So I think with this mod pack, you will always spawn here in a village. <gasps> Hi, baby. So cute. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know why though. Like, it just seems like a normal village to me. I don't feel like there's, oh, I do want that coal. I don't feel like there's anything, you know, really sticking out. What the hell is this? That's freaky. That's like the bathroom. Um, this is cool. Calisite. All right. Okay. Um, well, whoa. This looks like I shouldn't go here. This looks dangerous. Oh, is it just another village? Wait, hi! <gasps> Wait, I'm coming over. Hi! What do you have? Is that a piece of coal? Oh my God, I got a piece of coal. He's a little trash gremlin. Oh, I hear a bird. Hi! Oh, they're so cute. I think this is another village, you guys. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, wait, oh, this is really interesting. Oh, I like how we haven't even gotten wood yet. Look at how cute this is. Oh my God. Wow. Hey, sir. This is beautiful. Oh, look, they got coal on the ground. This feels like they really took their time to make this. I really, really love the detail on that. I don't know what my, what the fuck? Holy shit. Oh my God. I gotta get out of here. This isn't safe. I don't have any wood. We need to get established. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Oh my God, he was coming for me. Did you see that? He was literally coming for me. Okay, let's get some wood. Let's get some wood. We need to get our bearings. At least we have some food. That's the nice thing about spawning in a village. I definitely could have gotten a... Look how beautiful. I definitely could have gotten a... um. Uh, a bed. Maybe I'll go back and do that. Raspberries! Who are you? It's a fly. Oh my god, get off. Get off my berries, please, sir. Oh my God, that's so cute. Um, Rhino, hi, Rhino. Why he shake? Bam. Hi, Rhinos. Look at how cute. Hey, you looking good, baby? Yes, you are. I know that's right. Hi. Oh my God. That is so cute. I feel like I need to turn my volume back up. I turned it down because the opening screen, warning if you guys play this on your own, the opening screen is so loud. Like the music was bussing. It was literally bussing. All right, let's have some raspberries. I think these are blackberries. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. That's gorgeous. We're in the scrubland, the map says. That sounds about right. Um. Okay, what I wanna do is I want to kind of find a different area, something that may be a little bit safer. Um, so we can just get wood and, 
Okay, I don't think this is safer. That's a crocodile. Um, Oh, there's cows over here. This is good because we need food. We need food and these berries don't really give us much. Oh, we had an achievement. Simple farming. So many foods to choose from. Damn, why did we get that just now? Wait, okay, no, we did already get raspberries. I'm confused. Okay, I don't think it matters. I think we're fine. Piranhas? Are these piranhas? No, they're bluegills. Brown trout? Okay. So everything's kind of labeled. So there's not really much mystery when it comes to what animal you're looking at. Hi! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I should have read the whole page. I should have read the whole page about the grizzly bear. Oh, Oh my god. Okay, so don't approach the bears unarmed. Got it. Heard. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. What the hell? What the hell going on? What in the hell? Wait, that's too loud. Okay. Um. Oh, we got kangaroos. We got cows. Okay. Let's... Whoops. Oh, what is that? A cheeseburger? Okay, we can't make a cheeseburger yet. We cannot make a cheeseburger yet, y'all. We can't get ahead of ourselves. We're just chilling, you know, just chilling. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna place this. We're gonna make ourselves a wooden pickaxe and we're gonna get some stone. Oh my God, we got sweet potato seeds. So one of my favorite things about having like a lot of um, foods to choose from is you really have to be smart with your farm <clears throat> and picky about what you plant or just have a huge farm. <laughs> because there are so many things. Oh my God, y'all hear the birds? There are so many things. Wait, I never got a bed. We might have to run back really quick and get a bed or sleep at the village that we spawned at. Let's get a little bit of stone. Okay, I'm scared it's gonna get nighttime. I'm really, really scared it's gonna get nighttime because I don't wanna be stuck out here. Okay, let's quickly craft. We're gonna craft that, and then I'll make an ax. I'm gonna swap those, okay. Let's kill these cows. Yeah, apparently we need to be armed and dangerous and ready for battle because it's definitely gonna be an experience. The fact that the grizzly bears approached us, but, <laughs> wait, where'd all the other cows go? The grizzly bears approached us, but the rhino didn't. It's a little bit confusing. So I think I'm gonna have to study. I think I'm gonna have to study. Oh, here we go. Hi, I was wondering where you went. <gasps> Look how cute this log is. Oh my God, everything is so exciting. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. There's another sheepy down here. Thank you for your service. Tasmanian devil. Hey, you're cute. I didn't know those were things in real life. Well, this isn't real life. This is Minecraft. I, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> I forgot that this ain't real life. My bad, guys. My bad. I'm currently um, that bird. Oh my God. Anyway, I was trying to say is that I'm currently filming this at 9.20 in the morning. I woke up, I made my coffee. I haven't drunk it yet. I have not drunk and drank in my coffee. Um, but I made one and, um, oh, it looks like the sun is setting. Oh, the village is right here. Okay. I thought it was much farther than that. What the fuck is that? Um, no, I'm scared. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh shit. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. Oh, oh my God. Okay. We're going to go inside. We're going to sleep. So everything's going to be great. And it's raining, so cozy. Good night, guys. <laughs> Aw, look at all of our achievements so far. I love that. All right, let's have some breakfast. We're gonna have some raspberries, toast, you know, and we'll have like a hash brown. <laughs> That's me creating lore. I just made some lore. Did you guys like that? Did you appreciate my lore? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm filming in the morning. I have work today at like 12.30, so I'm like, let me film early. Let's enjoy ourselves, you know. Oh, wait, maybe I should go grab that bed. Let me go back and, and steal a bed. Um, You can kind of see. Whoa, how did I miss all this? 
You can kind of see on the map um, the green dots. Those are friendly mobs, so like these guys. And then the red are bad guys. And I think that that red one that I'm heading towards is the piglin brute. And I want to see if I can kill him. No, he's literally a brute. Does he, Do they all live here, though? Because, like, I want to explore this. Because this is beautiful. We're going to keep our eyes peeled in case there's another one. Oh, it's another one of these. So is this, like... The Oh, fuck. I'm scared. Holy shit. He looks so strong. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. Okay, we don't go in those. We don't go in those villages. Oh, my God. It gives me a synopsis. Okay. Well, I could go back and get my stuff, or I could just act like that never happened. And I'm really leaning towards acting like that didn't happen because I don't want to go back and die. He like three shot me. Oh my God. Uh, okay, well, I learned my lesson. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Yay. Um, all right, we'll get a little bit of wood. I'm going back and we're, we're just gonna steal another bed. Steal another bed, steal another bed. And I think I looted like all the food, so. Budge. Budge, man. I think I looted everything. Or most of everything, at least. Where the bed's at? Where the bed's at? Where the bed's at? Um, oh, we got some berries. That's good, at least. I love picking berries. It's so fun and, like, coquette. Love berries. That's nice. Get that, at least. Okay. All right. We're leaving. We're moving on. We done did spawned, and we done did moving on. Okay? We're moving on. I gotta go live my life, okay? I have to do it the way I want. I have to spread my wings and fly. And I can't do it here. I'm sorry, I just can't. All right, let's get some of this wood. This is dark oak logs. We're still in the Mediterranean forest, and I don't really know what that means. When I think of the Mediterranean, I think of like, Greece? Greece is the Mediterranean, right? <laughs> Imagine I'm wrong. That's really awkward. See, that's the thing about streaming, is if I'm wrong, people just tell me right then and there. I gotta wait for y'all to tell me I'm wrong. So like, three days. <laughs> I could wait three days. Don't worry, I'm brave. I don't know why I put this down just to put it back up, but, or break it down to put it back up, but I did. And I'm gonna stay. I didn't mean to do that. I, <laughs> it's the morning time. It's the morning time. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> we're clocked in, y'all. We're clocked in and we're locked in. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, cozy game season really is upon us um, lately. I've been playing a lot of Stardew. Um, the Stardew update just came out, so I was streaming that the other day. Um, playing a lot of Minecraft. I'm still doing my hardcore series, but I'm doing it on Twitch instead of um, YouTube. And um, Supermarket Sim also just came out, and that's been like everywhere. Literally everywhere. And... It's fun. I got it. I got that game. And it, it is a good time. Um, but I, I'm i not going as hard as other people. And when I see other people going like really hard on the game and I'm not really as invested, I feel like I feel like that's saying something. You know, I feel like then that's my sign of being like, maybe it's not like you're number one at the moment, you know? Um, I still honestly, I'm not one to follow trends, though when it comes to games, which is not good. <laughs> I need to learn how to follow trends when it comes to games. So playing the Stardew update the day it came out and um, playing Supermarket Sim is kind of like a big deal for me in my, in my you know, my personal journey. Um, so it was kind of, it was kind of cool. And I get why people do it. I get why people play things when they came out and make content on them because it, it works. You know, people are interested. They want to stop in, see how you're enjoying it and things like that. So very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, YouTube was something for a while that I was like, you know, kind of it was hard for me to find a way to fit it into my schedule because, you know, I stream and then I work. Um, but I got a new job. And I told myself, like, okay, give yourself the first three months to 
enjoy the experience of learning your new job, get used to it, and have fun because getting a new job is stressful and it's a big change. And I, I'm sure any of you that have even like, you know, switched schools or started up school again after the summer, like it's the same kind of feeling. You need time to get adjusted, you know, rest wise, um, even just like my focus at home kind of like dips a little bit because I put so much of my my focus and energy on to the job that I'm learning. Um, but I was like, okay, you know, give yourself three months. Those three months are up. It's time to come back to YouTube. <laughs> and I'm so excited. <clears throat> Finding this mod pack was like a gift from the heavens. I was like, oh, this would be perfect. I think people would really like this. And I think it would be nice just to sit down and get cozy. So... I hope that you guys are able to curl up in a ball. I hope I'm either drifting you to sleep, helping you wake up. Maybe you're eating, watching me, anything. I'm just happy to be a part of your day. Very, very happy to be a part of your day. All right, so we did one giant circle. That's great. Um, <laughs> whoa, what's that? That looks insane and I wanna go see. Maybe we'll head over there, but I'll stop and I'll kind of craft some things because we need like better tools and weapons and stuff. That is scary. Okay, let's cross over here and then we'll go around like the long way. You know, just in case. Just in case. Oh, we're like, we'd be going in the water. I feel like I shouldn't go in there. Something in my gut <laughs> is telling me that that's a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna make a sword this time. My gut is telling me to make a sword, so I'm gonna listen to it. I am going to listen to it. All right, let's eat. Have some raspberries. Okay. We do not have a lot of food. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna go down here. Hello? Why did everything go quiet? No. Nope. Oh, it's just a zombie. Ooh, it's not just a zombie. It's just a million zombies. <laughs> um. Oh my God, they're fucking coming for me. Wait, for real? Are they actually gonna pursue me right now? No, they're burning. Wait, that's bizarre. So is that like another, that must just be another way to mine. Okay, we're not ready for that. We are absolutely not ready for that. We need to get our bearings with food um, and wood. I wanna be a little bit more confident because I'm realizing how scary this world is. And I want to be prepared. We've already died once, that was too much. All right, let's travel. We're still in the Mediterranean forest. It looks like up there is a new biome. Um, that looks like a place to mine too. Getting some iron would be nice. The ambiance is crazy right now. It's going hard. It's kind of peaceful. Aw. Hey guys. This is the thumbnail. Right there, that's the thumbnail, baby. Take a pick, take a pick. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get back to it. Um, I'm scared to hit the fish. Smallmouth bass, the smallmouth bass wouldn't fuck with me. But they got those in my lakes. They wouldn't hurt me. But still, but still. Oh, the Minecraft music. I'm sorry, but I love the old Minecraft music. The new ones, mm, they don't invoke the same feeling. They don't really like, they don't, I don't know. I feel nothing. I feel nothing when I listen to them. But this song, I'm thinking about when I when learned how to ride a bike. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about when I graduated middle school, yep. I'm thinking about my first basketball game. I'm thinking about my first iPhone. Yeah, that's what this music makes me feel. Not the other crap. I thought other crap that they work so hard on. Screw it, it's bad. <laughs> 
L, L. All right, let's have some dinner. The night is upon us, my friends. And we're not doing too bad, I would say. I don't know what, I think this is for the Aether mod. This is definitely for the Aether mod. Pendant, ring, ring, two rings, in case I wanna be married twice. Cape, shield, gloves, accessory, accessory. <gasps> I love accessorizing. What is this? Moa skins. What the fuck? White Moa, black Moa, classic Moa, Boko mo Moa, Crookjaw Moa, Garrix Moa. Wait, Garrix red, Helican pink, Tivalier green. Okay, okay. Refresh. What is it like a battle pass? Ooh, look at all the. Wait, we should sleep. <laughs> we should sleep. We should sleep. Okay, I want to look at everything in this menu because it can kind of say a lot. So this is like, this is like regular Minecraft. Whoa, this is wood. We know this wood. Oh, excuse me, my goodness. Okay, we know this, we know that. I'm just gonna scroll till it's new stuff. This isn't new. It's impressive that this mod pack is like relatively updated. Cause I don't know about y'all, but some mods were just like left in 2012 and never returned. <laughs> RIP to those mods, our fallen soldiers. Um, okay, this all, what is that? Echo shard? I probably just haven't seen that in the update, but I feel like that's vanilla Minecraft. Okay, now it's talking. Aquaculture. Oh, golden fishing rod? How do you make that? Oh, that's actually pretty easy. So the nice thing about these mods is there's all different types of like, substitutions so like string or twisty twig you know there's options here iron fishing rod i'm assuming it's just durability neptunian um, um. neptunium okay that's a like type of ore i would assume you find that whoa that's actually kind of cool the boots i'm assuming you find that in the water <laughs> would be my guess yeah blast it Okay. Oh, so in the Twilight Forest mod, which is one of my favorite mods, there's something called the uncrafting table. It's hard to get and make, but you can uncraft things to get your materials back, which is really nice. A lockbox. That's so cute. Um, We have a fillet knife. I'm assuming this is all for fish. Black fish. Oh my God. You can make fish and chips. Sushi. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God. Look at all the fish. <clears throat> you can make different hooks, box turtle, abu turtle, star shell turtle, goldfish, catfish. Super cool. <gasps> Bunny slippers, kitty slippers, running shoes, steadfast spikes, flippers, a whoopee. Oh, wait, these are artifacts. You probably can't make these. You have to find them. Helium flamingo. That's cute. Superstitious hat. Eternal steak. Whoa. That's crazy. A snorkel, plastic drinking hat. I want one. Rainbow sapling. Okay, I also think that the the cherry forest in Biomes of Plenty is better than vanilla Minecraft. I'm sorry, I just, that's how I feel. All right, now we're getting into Biomes of Plenty. This is a beautiful blue, I do love that. Um, Sleeping bag. <gasps> I want a sleeping bag. Hammock. Whoa. Oh my God, glass panes, rope and nail. Okay, sure. What is this? Still glass panes, kitchen floor. Oh, we can make the cooking book. Okay, different saplings. These are different seeds, different vegetables, honeydew, green onion, green bean, lettuce. Okay, wait, what was that? Cooking pot, oh, food press, pan, knife. Okay, this is Croptopia, by the way. Oh, these fruits look really high quality. Look at that, I wanna take a bite out of that. Damn, look at all them. The shading is beautiful. It's really impressive. Rhubarb pie, mango ice cream. Oh, see, see, this is how it is in these cooking mods. It's really complicated to make things, but it's so fun. You can spend days just cooking. Cooked shrimp, juices, orange juice. I love me some orange juice, y'all. I love me some orange juice. Kale smoothie, PSL, 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 pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spice latte. Supreme pizza. That's what I get from Pizza Hut, personally. Tortilla, stuffed poblanos. I don't know if I said that right. 
sticky toffee pudding, of course. So many amazing things. Toast sandwich. That can't be real. Is this real? Have y'all ever had that? That's crazy. Trifle. So cool. Look at all these things. Chocolate covered churro. Fertilizer. Um, okay, Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod is just beautiful, you guys. I mean, look at these. We have cabinets. We have tables. We have chairs. It's just an amazing mod. We have couches. Blinds, of course. I do love the blinds. This very much makes me think of um, Aya's Cupquake and Oasis. And to think that we grew up watching that and now we're playing it. We're making our own series. I think that's amazing. A calendar? Oh my God, that's so cool. A calendar is amazing. Chocolate cake, this is from the Simple Farming. Okay, so this is like different food. Okay, wow. Okay, Aether Mod is a different dimension. And you make it by making like a nether portal basically, but you make it out of glowstone and then you put water in it. Gingerbread man, candy cane, life shard. This is Twilight Forest. Twilight Forest, you make it by making a two by two water hole surrounded by flowers and then you throw a diamond in it and then you can jump in. And these have bosses and dungeons. I believe the Aether Mod does too. Um, so that's gonna be an absolute adventure. Um, like this guy, that is terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. I'm very scared. <laughs> um, backpacks, so cool. Actually not that hard to make. We could definitely, definitely do that. Um, but yeah, lots of stuff, y'all. Lots of, whoa, what the hell? Ew, it's ugly, it's ugly. Ew, it's ugly. But yeah, lots of stuff that we could do. Lots of stuff that we could do. What is that? Blue skies. Whoa. Is that a different dimension? I never heard of that. It kind of looks like it. Look at all this stuff. That's got to be another dimension. What the hell is a pyro bag? That actually looks sick. We're going to have to research that. Oh my God. The umbrella. Okay. All right. I feel like we did enough research there. It was kind of nice to sit down and look into all that. All right. We're going to continue our adventure. We'll climb up this mountain. I just want to find different biomes. I don't want to just settle down. I want to find our soulmate biome. Okay, I want to find the biome that we're meant to be in. All right? That's just how I feel, y'all. That is just how I feel. Um, We're going to climb. We're going to look around. We're going to collect food along our way and see how much information we can learn while making this journey. All right, all right. I have a coffee that I'm gonna sip on in just a moment. I'm very excited for this sip. Very, very, very excited. I've been drinking, uh, I've been making coffee at home. I used to go to Dunkin' and Starbucks all the time. <sighs> but um, I got a Keurig for Christmas. So shout out to my dad. Shout out to my dad, you're a real one, man. Thank you, thanks dad. Uh, I got a Keurig for Christmas and you guys, I'm obsessed. I used to have like this $20, <gasps> Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I used to have this $20 um, Mr. Coffee coffee maker I got from like Target when I first moved into my apartment. <clears throat> and that was nice, but it was a big pot. And I just, I, I'm, I live by myself, so it like was a little bit too big for just me. <clears throat> and I found that I ended up like wasting a lot, which didn't feel good. That did not feel good. But I will get the K-Cups, but you can also get the um like filter and then put coffee grounds in it and it's reusable so it's better for the environment so I have that too and then I have like regular ground coffee um but right now the only regular ground coffee I have is um what do you call it what do you call it uh pumpkin spice and it's just not the season okay the first day of spring was yesterday and we're moving on from that so it is kind of nice though when I open my, well, this is crazy. We're in the rocky rainforest now. Okay. It is kind of nice, though, to open my cabinet and smell the pumpkin spice. It reminds me of simpler times. I love the fall. I live in New England, so, like, the fall definitely... What the... Oh. Leaf cutter anthill. Okay, we won't, we won't touch that. We'll let the ants live. Um, 
it definitely like the winters can be a lot I don't really feel affected by the winter until like the end of February and then I'm like oh my god I need a little bit of sunshine um but I I love the fall I love the spring I I like can't pick a favorite season I just really enjoy whatever is in front of me um I know a lot of people especially people who grew up in colder areas hate the snow and hate the winter um oh look at this um me personally I think the winter is beautiful when it is wintering you know what I'm saying when the winter is wintering it, it's beautiful when it's snowing and you know there's got snowflakes and you got light and you know pretty little lights outside and fireplaces and good books and fluffy blankets and it being socially acceptable to get cozy at 5 p.m. Like, I love that. I really love that. But what's hard is when the winters are not snowy, they're just gray and cold. That stinks. I love going for walks when it snows. I love going for drives. As long as it's not like, you know, a blizzard and it's dangerous. Um, even like some of my favorite video games, Tell Me Why, Until Dawn, like, those have really strong winter aesthetics and it's so cozy even the winter in stardew i really do appreciate um and enjoy and you know all that but i'm at the point now where like it's we're in like the middle of march i'm ready i'm ready for spring i'm ready for the summer all right we're gonna go to sleep we're gonna go to sleep um i actually decorated my door Finally, because I usually decorate my door um, for the, oh, monsters. I'm ready for you this time. I usually decorate my door for the season. And I have this beautiful tulip wreath. I think I bought it at Michael's. Um, but it's, it's all tulips and it's so freaking cute, you guys. It is the cutest wreath ever. And then I have like a wooden tulip that's painted. Um, pink. Excuse me, it's painted pink. So I put that there too. Um, I love, I love like flowers in the spring. I love seeing, you know, the dandelions and the daffodils start to pop up. Yellow is not my favorite color, but the springtime yellow, the light fresh like this yellow. That is beautiful. I do love her. I don't like mustard yellow. Oh, I hate mustard yellow. So ugly. Ugh. Sorry, Murmuran, if you're watching. Shout out, Murmuran. <laughs> but I don't like my color. Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, hi. Hi, baby. Oh, shit. Go, go. Heard. Whoa, beautiful. Oh, tricks. You did tricks. Do it again. Oh, my God. So beautiful and gorgeous. All right. We're, we're still in the rainforest. There's a lot of melon, but I don't think I need all that. Let's cross. We could also take a look at our map and see. Ooh, it's so weird when you're underwater. Your ears feel stuffy. What the hell? Oh my God, it's a spawner. Oh, wow. Those are cave spiders though, and I'm always a victim to the caves. What the fuck is that? Oh, gorilla! Hi! Can I approach you? They're hungry! <gasps> Good boy! Hey, Shad! Look at your head, baby! What's going on? Hi, guys! <gasps> oh, enemy. Let's take him out real quick. God, we need iron. We need to mine. Should we mine? Okay. Wait, really quick. I want to read about them. I want to read about the gorillas. I want to know what they have to offer. <gasps> we lost our book. Oh, fudge. We lost our book, so I can't read about them. How do I get it? Okay, I can make another one. Hey, King, fuck him up. Oh. Looking real good, real good from the front, from the back, from the left, and the right, and the left, and the right, and the up, and the down. Okay, y'all make sure you eat good, take care of your families. All right, see you around, y'all. See you around. So cute, orange cotton. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful flower. 
But unfortunately, I do not have enough, you know, vibes for it. Okay, we're going to take a look at the map. So we could see... Yeah, we've come a long way. <laughs> we've come a long way. Um, We could keep going like this direction. I just want to find a new area. I just... I want to see things before I really start to mine and all that. Oh, hi! Look at the hummingbirds! Hi, cutie! <gasps> oh my god, they're so beautiful! Oh my god, guys, are you getting like a hunger for adventure? Because I'm getting a hunger for adventure right now. Oh my god. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. You know when a game just hits, that's what's happened. Hello, piranhas. Hello. This game is hitting for me. What is that? Oh, calcite. Oh wait, this is salt. Sadly, won't give more FPS, bruh. Find salt in the depths of a nearby river. We did that. This is a croptopia thing. And if you're wondering where I'm seeing that, it's at the top of the screen. I like how it drops in those little bags. I don't know how much we'll need. I feel like a lot. Okay, that, that's fine for now. That is fine for now. I just want to find a beautiful place to live. Okay, I just want to find a place to call home. Um, I don't, I don't really like the rainforest. You know, it's not really my favorite. You know, I'm just being honest and real. It looks like this has something. Is that a desert though? Hmm. Or is that just a beach? Let's see. I can't really tell, but it does look like there's different types of trees, which is good. The desert is like cool. But I don't think it's, it doesn't. What the fuck is that? That looks like the scariest thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna go touch it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, wait, there's looks like there's fruit on those trees. What is that? Oh, that's where I died. Okay, we can go check out the fruit trees later. I feel like this is more urgent. <laughs> what the hell? He's working hard. Uh, yes, King. Get into it, babe. He's working hard for his family. We love that. We love that. We love working hard for our family. Oh, look it. I think this is a waystone. I think that this is a waystone. Is that a skeleton of like... Whoa, what did I do? Okay, maybe I won't... Maybe I won't break it. This is so scary. This looks like a skeleton. I don't want to go in it, guys, because I'm scared I'm going to die. It literally looks like the skeleton. I think it is. You can kind of see, like, the ribs. Oh, that is so, like, I'm, I'm so, like, intensely uncomfortable. Oh, my God. That was awful. I hated that. I absolutely hated that. Okay, let's get some stuff let's get some let's get some berries um i would like an area like this like with regular trees you know that would be my personal preference we can't always get what we want but orange yummy i love orange oranges are really good they're probably one of my favorites I mean, I guess we're going to cross this and then go that way. I don't really want a boat. I would rather just stay on foot instead of having to cross the water. Um, we won't pick all of them, you know, just because the animals, we want the wildlife to also have some food to get, you know? Um... What the hell? Hi! Hi guys, my name's Sadie. What's your name? Oh my god. Hi, sexy. Pyromaniac pick? Vampire hunter? Look at me. You're so cool. Wait, are there vampires in this area? Vampire hunter. He okay, use my type. Use my type. Um, pyromaniac pick. 
like can I like hang out with you guys? What is Is he gonna he, guys be careful? He's a pyromaniac. He might burn your camp down. Are you keeping an eye on him? <laughs> okay, good talk. Uh, good talk. Next. Mustard crop. Mm -hmm. I just talked about how much I hate mustard. What? Wait, we have to kill him because it said that we can craft the new Alex's mobs things if we get an emu feather. Have to do what we have to do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Bitch. Whoa, why is he kind of strong? Damn, that was kind of scary. What is this? Thorns? Mending? Curse of fuck. I got... Fuck, I didn't read it. Well. Well, y'all, we got curse of binding on now, so we gonna be wearing that for a while. All right. I love all the options for getting food. Okay, now we just need cactus green um, to craft the book and a book, of course. We also need a, a full-ass book, but I could be patient with that. All right, let's continue. Whoa. Blueberries. I'm honestly in real life not the biggest fan of blueberries, but I'll get them. You know, I'll get them. No big deal. All right. Um, let's continue this way. Let's eat and get our health back up. The oranges didn't give me as much as the apples. That's interesting. I wonder why. I mean, I guess oranges are. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like in real life. Like, does that add up? I guess I don't really know much about much. We might be stuck boating, y'all, because I don't see much. An extra CD place. Break a wild plant to get seeds. Okay, cool. We did it. All right, we're gonna go sleep. We're gonna go night night. Let's have an apple. And then we go night night. Good night, everybody. Adventuring has kind of been fun, though. I feel like I can... Hi! You're cute. Hey. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. All right, let me see. Okay, no, so I want to go this way. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go this way. Ooh, that's such a relaxing rain. What the fuck? Oh, cherry. Seagull. Hi. You motherfucker. He took my food. He took my food. Bro, I'm out of here. Oh my God, please don't touch me. What are you guys? Seals? I can't even focus. The croc was tracing me down. Am I going the right way? This way. Okay, go this way. Damn, Sadie. Lock in and focus. What is that? Lettuce crop. Okay, move on. Sadie, focus. Sadie, focus. When I used to watch Minecraft videos with my mom when I was little, she would get mad because the YouTubers would get too distracted. She goes, can they just finish one thing? <laughs> and I'm like, mom, you don't get it. Okay, you just don't get it. Um, okay, it looks like there's a, another biome over there, so let's swim. We could make a boat. Maybe we just make a boat. Right? Any minders if we make a boat? Huh? Huh? All right. We could go, like, the long... We could just, like, go around... Because these biomes are boring. It's literally just like vanilla Minecraft. Like, I guess I could have like found a seed, but that doesn't feel real and authentic. A flying fish? Are those real? Those can't be in the real life, right? That's so scary. Let me see. Okay. Let's keep going this way. If we can't find a pretty biome, then we might 
be stuck just mining and dealing with it. Um, the wind. Um, uh, good, 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 guys. Do you hear that? Okay, I'm getting the fuck out. Oh, it's so windy. It's like storming. Okay. Okay. I feel like we need to get into shelter. Because, like, what if it, like, thunders lightnings? Wait, the wind stopped. The wind stopped. That was scary. Oh, my God. That was actually so scary. Hell no. Nah. Absolutely not. Okay, that was so fun. I got, like, the chills from that. I feel like it was actually windy. It's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. Shit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. Okay. Um, This is not a real cave. We're leaving. Whoops, whoops it is. is. All right, we're gonna go like up and around. Ooh, look at the map, you guys. This looks like a new biome up here. I don't know what. I see red trees and I see like winter vibes. Oh, look, there's coal here. And there's some monsters. Let's see if we can just get the coal really quick. Maybe we can make... Wait, I need to get rid of some stuff. I don't need all this right now. It's a little ridiculous. I mean, I guess I can keep the obituary for now. Like, whatever, but... Okay, we're going to make some more sticks. And then we're going to make... Some torches. Okay. Okay. Now I'm feeling a bit more prepared. <laughs> Let's get rid of things in our inventory that we do not need right now. Get this organized. Okay, cool. We do need a little bit of iron. I think that would help me feel a little bit safer. It's nice that we get to utilize this gold stuff that we found while looting a chest. Um, but we do need iron. Uh, for like a shield. I wonder if there are other types of shields. No. A uh, spike shield. It's in the blue skies mod. Night metal shield? Twilight forest? How do you make that? Oh, that's like a whole thing. Okay. That's a whole nother chapter. That we've yet to uncover. All right. I'm hearing lots of things. We're gonna, we're gonna mine though. We're gonna mine for a little bit. I think it'll help with our confidence. And our, you know, adventure capabilities. Hi! Okay. Let's get this as well. In the beginning of Minecraft, getting coal can be such, like, a thing. But it is really good to have. I will say that. It's really, really good to have. You're always going to need it. No matter how far along into the game you are. What is this? Oh, hell no. What the fuck is that? Why is it like going straight down? It's so like inviting. Like it really wants me to go check it out. Okay, so this is like nothing. Oh, there's iron. I know that that zombie was coming for me. We'll keep our eyes peeled for him. Hey, I'm not scared of you. You're normal. It's the, the unknown. It's the other mobs that I don't know exist yet. That is what freaks me out at this time. All right, we're gonna put this down. We're gonna make a furnace, our first furnace of the series, yay. And we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna cook our beef and then we can also cook um, our iron that we just got. Um, let me also like throw some stuff out we just do not need right now. I need my, I don't need that, right? I probably don't need that. Mending shovel, like, I don't need you. I don't need this. I don't need two beds. All right. I don't need the string either. Like, I will eventually, yes, but if I'm going to be mining, 
like no. Okay, I'm also gonna put the boat down there because I don't need that right now either and the leather. If I'm intending on, you know, spending some time down here, then there's really no point. And keeping all that. We have a good amount of wood for this, which is very, very good, very nice. Um that gone. Alright, let's make What the hell am I on? Damn, y'all saw that? Please say you didn't. Please say you didn't. Alright. We'll put this away for now. I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. We got our smelting done. A bada bing. A bada boom. Cool. Alright. Let's... We're gonna try to take this slow and steady. And I mean try. I mean try. It's gonna be hard, because I'm excited. And there's a lot of new things, new and scary things. So I kind of like to light things up and then kind of come back and mine, um, because I don't want something that's hiding in there to come up and surprise me. Um, so that's kind of my habit that I have when I go mining, which I don't, I actually can't say if it's ever saved me before. I mean, like, besides, like, a creeper maybe, but, you know. Right. Let's go in here. We got some coal. All right, this is a dead end. I'm going to keep it, like, a little bit lit up, though, just to hopefully prevent things from spawning. Oh, yeah, we can literally use our mini map. And see the bad guys there too. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. All right, we're gonna get this coal, then we can come back. I kind of used this little signal thingy I figured out. I just put a torch on the ground. Um, I use Aya's Cuffquake's torch method for the caves, where you put the torches on the right as you go into the cave. That way, when you turn around and the torches are on the left, that means you're leaving. So it's easier to find your way out. Cause that's the hard thing is you go in, you get so deep and then you can't find your way out. It doesn't really matter as much if you don't have a base. Cause whatever. Whoa. Oh wait, I have a, I have this now, use it. Yep, racking up achievements, baby. Racking them up, racking them up. All right. This is a dead end. We're definitely gonna need to make another pickaxe. So let's do that really quick. All right. Keep that handy on us for now. Let's have a couple berries to pass the time. All right, let's go this way. What the fuck? 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 Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. You're so sexy. Please don't touch me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. Y'all saw that, right? He spawned bats -diz. You said a bats -diz is he spawned? Bitch. What the fuck? That was scary. Oh, that was really, oh wait, cause it's nighttime. <gasps> Do you think that's why he came out? Cause it's nighttime? <gasps> that's crazy. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm actually scared. Okay, let me get this coal to distract myself. That, okay, he didn't touch me. So we didn't really see how much damage he does, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that mystery for now. Okay, it looks like this is like the end. Unless we... Oh, there's a ladder. What the fuck, dude? Do we go down? Oh, the vines. I'm scared. What 
What's here? Oh my god! It's a mine shaft! Oh, that's a lot less scary. <laughs> that's a lot less scary than what I was picturing. Oh, this is gorgeous. Holy shit. Guys, this is beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, out of all the things that could have been down that mysterious tunnel, I would not have expected this. Oh, look at it. That's okay. Ooh, I don't know what that is. <gasps> Ring of speed, holy water, vampire fang, hunter axe. Bitch, what? What the hell did we just find? Deals 30% more damage against vampires. Faction specifics, hunter only required level eight. I don't know what that means. Can I wear it? Wait, how do I put on my ring? Wait, no. This? How do I put it on? Feet, charm, belt, ring. It's not letting me. Um, I think I just don't get it, to be honest. I'm sure that, that there is a way to wear it, and I'm just not understanding. Um, that's crazy. Oh, this is definitely a... Oh, maybe not. I was thinking that this was a spawner, a dungeon, but I don't think it is. I think it's just design. Okay. That is, this is so cool. Oh my God. And the fact that I'm playing it, not streaming is like actually like really, really scary, but I'm being really brave and I'm having a lot of fun. I hear lots of monsters. I think like back that way. I want to keep going deeper for now though. <gasps> oh my God. Holy shit. He jump scared me. He actually jump scared me. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I actually jumped. Okay, but he didn't give me the blindness like the other guy did. I wonder why. Whoa. What is this? Oh, what the fuck? What's down there? Oh, it's a spider spawner. No, thanks. No, thank you. I'm good. Thanks, though. <laughs> Someone must live here. Oh, there's coal in here. I don't have anything to cook, so I'll just take it. Thanks. Okay. Look at us adventuring. Going deeper. Uncovering the mysteries. Okay, there's nothing here. Kind of a relief to have a break. <laughs> I'll be honest. It is kind of a relief. Dude, that vampire actually scared the shit out of me. That was not funny. Oh my god. I jumped. My whole body took a screenshot. Okay, this is insane. Okay, it looks like this is kind of the end. Um, There were other ways that we could explore. I want to go back a little bit. I only saw one minecart. So far, maybe there's others, but I don't know. I, I'm not really like, I don't need the mine carts right now. You know, I'm kind of like just exploring and taking it all in. We could go that way. That's not really like mine way though. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of satisfied. <laughs> I'm kind of satisfied with this. Um, we don't have like any iron though and that was our goal. So maybe we go back over here and find that area where it branched off. Did I pass it already? I don't think so. Dude, the vines are making me walk so slow. 
Mm. Where was it? I mean, I guess you could just go straight. I could go this way. What's this way? I don't think anything. Oh, stairs. Okay. Okay, stairs. Uh, cut this down. It's quiet now without the music. <laughs> what is this way? I think we've like discovered most of everything. I do want to make more torches though because I want to keep this place lit because the vampires scare me. They're not actually that strong. I'm actually kind of shocked about that. They're not as strong as I would have expected, but they're still scary. Should I keep the the hunter axe on me? I mean, I guess I should keep it open, right? Because if they're going to pull up on me like that. Oh, it's nighttime again, though. Maybe that's why. He was out. You see, it says in the... Above the map. That's where it's kind of saying everything. Okay. We can go up here. Still nothing. Okay, this whole area has kind of been explored. All right, we're going to go back. We need to eat, too. Let's have some raspberries. Then we can get into our melons, finally. I'm trying to be inventory efficient. Whoa, this axe is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I couldn't really see it that well before, but now I can. That's pretty epic. Okay, um, we go this way. Let's see if it kind of opens up a little bit. I think it does up here. Let's kind of dig. Oh! Oh my god. He took advantage. He took advantage of the fact that I couldn't stand up and fight him. Whoa. I wish you could see my face right now. What the fuck just happened? Oh my god! It's so strong! Oh my god. Oh my god. can't make up I should have slept dude <sighs> fuck <laughs> do I go back like what do we do you guys what do we do oh my god oh my god this place is deadly. Everywhere I turn, nothing can be trusted. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, honestly, honestly, I think we just need to take a new route. I think we need to stay in our freaking lane. Okay. We steal another bed from the village. We get wood, we get food, and we stay in our fucking lane. Okay, I'm done trying to take risks exploring things because it's not working oh my god what the hell it was a fake chest hello how could i have known how could i have known maybe we'll go in a different direction this time honestly if i had like diamonds and rare loot okay i would i would go back for my stuff i like didn't really we had that cool um vampire thing but like i don't want to go all the way back over there for it i'm fine you know what i'm saying i'm very much okay with leaving it in the past um so we're not gonna do that we're just gonna like we just spawn hey guys welcome to the video <laughs> all right let's we're gonna play it safe we're gonna play it safe we're gonna stop letting our curiosity get the better of us wait what is this arcs oh Oh, trash. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let me go back to the village and steal another bed. Um, we'll start with that. <laughs> then we'll make some 
tools and get some food and then geez just play it freaking safe man i am floored i am absolutely floored by all the things that can kill us it never ends <laughs> i don't think it will end we just have to be better equipped to deal with it and um i'm learning that more and more and more i was locked in for a minute there fighting him I went really quiet. I went, I was so quiet. I was really, really focused. I was really, really, really focused. <laughs> I wish, see, there's times like that where I wish I had my face cam on because my jaw hit the floor. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what the hell is happening? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get stoned. Maybe if we could find coal, that'd be amazing. But I feel like I've harvested a lot of the materials around here. Um, let me think. We could probably just kill these fish too, right? That might not be a bad idea. Okay, let's make our tools. Bam. Bam, okay. Bam, bam. One, two, three. Uh, I actually want these swapped, I think. Okay. All right. We got stone tools again. See, it's like nothing happened. See, if we just did that from the get go. But I don't know. I want to explore. I want to see what's out there. You know, we're, this is all, this episode is all about figuring out what is out there in the world that wants to come take us under and bury us. You know, I'm just like really curious. Oh, look, it looks different. Bluegill. I caught a bluegill before. I was in my fishing era. Who are you, a minnow? He ain't gonna give shit. The food. Oh my god, they're so baby. I gotta put them out of their misery now. Okay. I guess that's fine, right? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. All right. Um, there's a cave down there. I'm not fucking with it. But I'm happy to go, like, here a little bit and just see if there's anything. Is that? No, that's just the shadow. I, I couldn't tell if that was coal or not. Yep. Fuck that. Not happening. Think so. Um, okay. I'm not really seeing anything close to the edge. Uh, oh, there's some. Oh, look at the cobwebs. Ew, that's so freaky. I hate it. I really, really hate it. Okay, we're going to get this coal. Then we'll kind of head back up and look for other stuff. Um, we can look for... some, Maybe some animals to just kill. We can cook the fish, too. I think we can cook these fish. I would hope. I would really, really hope that we could cook them. We got to catch our barons, though. We got to get you know, regulated. We have to get on our feet. I'm feeling a little bit um, topsy-turvy <laughs> at the moment. Just a wee bit topsy-turvy. No big deal. No big deal. All right. Um, right. Let's get out of here. Let's leave. I have an idea. Let's leave. I love SpongeBob. Love Spongebob. That show gets funnier the older you get, too. Like, if you go back and rewatch it, you're like, damn. <laughs> These jokes were good. All right, let's see. So if I want to go somewhere new, I should go around here. Just not south. I could go, like, north or east or west, but not south. What are we thinking? We could go this way. This way looks the most different. Oh, I died over there. Wait, what death was that? Whoa, what did I just do? I don't know what the hell I just clicked. Oh, because that's essentially going back that way. So we should go. We should go west then. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. We're going to go west. Because I guess if we just went straight that direction, it would kind of end up... End up with us back over there. So we'll go this way. Hi! If we see any animals along the way that we can eat, we shall slay them. Maybe I take a minute and make a furnace. Maybe I do that. I want to be prepared. 
the best I can. You can't cook them? Oh. So, like, I can eat them, right? Just raw like sushi? Oh, that gives literally nothing. That was a giant waste of my time. Oh, perfect. Okay, awesome, guys. Woo! This is great. Oh, I think this is a volcano over here. Look how cool. This is pretty badass. Pretty badass. All right, let's cross the water. We're gonna cross the water in the dangerous territory. I just have like 18 accents, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm hopping, hip hopping, drip dropping, flip flopping. All right, I'm gonna climb. We're going to experiment with this strat. The climb strat, as I like to call it. Oh, aminals. Oh, Amino Black Sand. That's actually kind of pretty. I kind of like the way that it looks. Ooh. This is so pretty. It's very interesting. Very interesting shapes and textures. Ooh, another one. Ow! Ow! Please don't kill me. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay. It's okay if he blows up. One more hit. One more hit. Done. Holy shit. I need food so bad. I can't even eat the minnows, dude. I'm gonna die again. I'm actually gonna freaking die again. I can't even run. I'm miserable. <laughs> I'm sweaty. Well, the good thing is like, the, the waystone is there, but I think you need XP to teleport to them. I don't think you can just like go. Now, what the hell kind of food am I gonna find here? Does the grass drop anything? I'm starving. The toadstools? Can I eat the toadstools? I can't eat the toadstools. Oh my God. Wait, what can I make with- can I make mushroom stew with them? Mushroom barley? Fudge! I can't! I need the other kind to make mushroom stew. This really feels like an episode of Naked and Afraid. Uh, I don't think I can eat him. I'm hungry. I'm lagging. I'm hungry and I'm lagging. Anybody? Anybody? I'm sleeping, y'all. I'm sleeping. It's the only way I can cope. It's the only way that I can cope with our current situation. I can't die a third time. I can't die. Wait, did I hear a pig? I can't tell. What are these noises? We're in the fungal jungle. Okay, that's not a real thing. I'm not eating you. You look disgusting to eat. I'll not be eating a frog to die. I mean, this just seems like an awful place for food. If I'm being honest with you guys, I dropped the ball on this one. I can't run. I can barely even... Monkey. Monkey. Look at all the monkeys. <gasps> the monkeys guided us to the berries. <gasps> Thank you, monkeys. Thank you so much. Oh my God, shout out for real. Thanks, guys. Oh, he said, you're welcome. You're welcome, queen. Oh my God, I love you. Thank you. <gasps> we can run again. Yeah. This place is horrifying. I don't want to be here. 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 I'm scared. There's crocodiles in the waters. Uh, I think if I cross there, I'll have a better chance of finding food. Like, not guaranteed, but I think we make a boat. I'm going to make a boat. I'm going to ignore the croc. And we're going to do our best. 
go 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 is he on our ass no we're good hey oh he greeted me that was sweet i don't know why the water is green and or like teal in some areas what is that fuck that it's a spider egg uh, what what is this mod pack's obsession with spiders? Like, ew. I don't like spiders in real life, anything. Like, I know, like, they're good for the environment, whatever. Like, I don't believe you. I'm sorry. Like, you could put all the studies in my face, and I will not believe it. Those things are good for us. <gasps> you know, it is good for us. Melon! Ah! Oh! oh, my God, the juicy, juicy, juicy melon. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm Dude, in the summer, I eat so much watermelon. It is the best fruit. It is so good. I love watermelon so much. Oh my God. Okay, we're finally getting our health back. Do you guys see the light at the end of the tunnel? Because I freaking do. All right, let's see. We can keep going up. There are some red dots though on the map. And I don't know why. Maybe they're in, a, are we like on top of a cave? Oh, I hear a baby zombie. Let's just see if we can run past because I don't really I don't really want to fight anymore. I think I'm actually good. This is supposed to be cozy craft and I've died multiple times. <gasps> okay, now we're in a new biome, the woodland. Okay, guys, everything happens for a reason. Don't forget it. Thank you. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This looks safe. It looks homey. It reminds me of regular Minecraft, which is actually giving me a little bit of relief at the time. Okay. It's kind of nice to see something that looks normal. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right. We're going to get this coal, which is good. We're, we're slowly rebuilding ourselves. Slowly. Maybe I'll get a little bit of cobblestone too while I'm here. We could build a starter home, but I'm just not satisfied with the biome yet. I'm really not. I'm not satisfied with any of that. Hmm. All right, let me... Let's open up the map. Okay, we're still over here. We can keep going north. I'm, I'm liking this area. This area is giving me hope. <laughs> it's giving me strength. Anything there? Not really. Hello, Mr. Crow. What is this? Hanging roots. Okay, I can't do anything with that. I wonder if there is a way to get that stuff with like silk touch, if you could use it to craft, but you might not be able to. Oh, I hear a chicken. I hear a chicky chick. Um, we need iron. Okay, there's nothing here. I'm kind of happy. I'm actually really happy that there's nothing there. <laughs> we could kind of like locate a biome with the nature's compass. Because the nature compass is a compass that helps you exactly just find a biome. Um, so we could do that. Okay, don't approach the bear. We've learned that. The bears are not our friends. They want nothing to do with us. Um, what do you need to make a nature's compass? Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay. Just saplings and like a regular compass. I do not have redstone or iron though. So at the time, that would be the hardest thing. Um, oh, thank goodness, a cow. Out of curiosity... I might kill the raccoon. Because what if I can eat him? Okay, that did nothing for us. Perfect. Now we know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with any of that. That's scary shit, dude. Hi, little baby. So cute. Um, ooh, we got some bloobs. I'm really excited to start a farm. 
really, really, really excited to start a farm. So we keep kind of coming back to this biome. Wait. Hold on. I think I just realized something. I think I have to turn on. No, you don't have to turn on biomes of plenty. I didn't you used to have to turn on biomes of plenty? So this is on. So it's on, right? Because I remember before you used to have that was like a specific world type. I don't have to do that, right? It was like in the world type. It was So maybe I'm good? Maybe I'm good? Oh my god, could you imagine I filmed this for an hour and a half and I just there's just nothing? Dude. I, I don't know what I would, I would delete my YouTube channel. I would delete my whole channel. What an awful place to quit, wow. I definitely could have killed myself like that. Ooh, what can I make with pumpkin? Anything easy? Pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin bar, oh that's hard. Pumpkin soup? <gasps> pumpkin soup is so easy. The simple farming one is. Okay, let's do that, we can make some pumpkin soup. <gasps> so cozy. Uh, I don't think I've ever had pumpkin soup. I don't, I haven't had a lot of things pumpkin. I've had pumpkin muffins, pumpkin seeds. Those are yummy after you carve a pumpkin. Um, what else? I think that's it. I've never had pumpkin pie. I've had pumpkin donuts. I have had pumpkin donuts before. All right. Well, y'all, we've lived and died a lot. We've learned about all sorts of mobs, vampires, vampire hunters, mimics, nitwits, of course, my favorite mob, grizzly bears and rhinos. We found emus and seals, crocodiles, gazelles, all different types of birds. And we have, it feels like we've lived a thousand lives today. It really, really has. Um, this freaking bird in my damn ear, you know. Um, but I think that we are approaching the end of the episode. Today was all about exploration. Today was all about, you know, kind of finding our footing in this world and figuring out what we want to do and what makes the most sense for us. And I've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot, a lot, lot, lots of fun hanging out with you today. Thank you so much for watching and being here. I will see you guys next week for episode two. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, anything that you want to see, anything you want me to explore, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know your favorite part of the video. And I will see you guys next week. I love you. Bye, guys.